News. Guardians, are you interested in some good old-fashioned news? Well then, open up your ears and let me pour a little bit of awesomeness into it. Today, I will be talking about the brand new hotfix that arrived today, November 2nd, and that introduced some new changes that will definitely make the game better. Speaking of making the game better, if you would like to know more on the first expansion of the Curse of Osiris DLC coming to Destiny 2, click the first link in the description. Let's get to it. Now, most of these changes have to do with the Crucible, some for the PC edition of the game, and some with Faction Rally changes. Let's take a closer look. So, let's start with the first section, which is the general section. Fixed an issue with collision detection on the bureaucratic walk emote. Fixed an issue causing players to encounter empty public spaces too often in free roam. Fixed an issue causing players to be kicked to orbit. So, the bureaucratic walk emote glitch has finally been patched. Honestly, I find it kind of sad, but it was necessary. If you don't know of the glitch I speak of, let me help you out. Now, if you went next to any thin wall and use the emo as you saw on screen right next to the wall and wait until you go backwards into the wall and then crouch, you can almost breach through any wall and troll people in the crucible and whatnot like I'm doing now. This glitch was absolutely ridiculous and as you see on screen, I breach out just now and get 3 kills easily. I'm sad to see it go. It was the equivalent of the wall breaching glitch while using your sparrow in Destiny 1. And now for the faction rally part. By the way, there should be one more faction rally in Season 1. So strikes now reward faction tokens at a range of 5 to 9 faction tokens per completion, up from 3 to 7. Nightfall now rewards 10 to 18 faction tokens on first completion per character. Completing heroic public events now rewards 5 tokens, down from 8. Destroying enemy resources no longer rewards faction tokens, and opening lost sector chests now rewards 3 faction tokens for each fire team member. It sucks that you cannot gain faction tokens by destroying enemy resources. I farmed those resources for so long and got so many tokens, but I do realize that Bungie has to make it more of a grind. Of course they have to. It's Bungie we're talking about here. And if you didn't already know about this farm, I also have a tutorial on that, link in the description. Now for the Crucible part, there are a lot of changes because this is the Crucible hotfix update, so anyways, they updated the Mercy rule settings to allow Mercy to activate slightly later in the match, allowing a wider range of scores to trigger it. In Clash, they reduced the score limit to 50 and it was 75. In Control, they reduced the score limit to 90, was 100, and reduced the influence that enemy controlled zones exert over the spawning system. In Survival, a competitive game mode, they reduced the round time limit to 2 minutes down from 3 minutes, and they reduced the life count to 6 down from 8. Next up in Supremacy, they increased the score to win from to 70, up from 50. We now grant 1 point for defeating an enemy guardian, so another point for getting their crest, and adjusted the influence enemy crests have on the spawning system. And that's it, so I guess, guess it wasn't that long, but I mean, long enough. Alright, there's not much left to go over, so for the companion app on the Android, they improved the performance across the app and particularly on the gear and progress sections, improved screen state preservation after rotation, added the ability to look up clans by name, exact matches only, and added suggested clans to the browse clan screen. For iOS, they added suggested clans to the browse clan screen. And finally, for the PC version of the game, they fixed an issue where clan rosters were not showing properly and fixed an issue causing gradual performance degradation over time. Anyway guys, that's what I have for you today. Make sure to look at my previous videos. I have one on seasons, all the new confirmed exotics and other weapons arriving in the Curse of Osiris DLC, one on a possible fourth subclass and another on the possibility of Kate actually dying if you are not already familiar with the subject. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment what you thought of this video if it was helpful or not. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the very next video.